Come on, Trot. Come in, mate. Come uh, in. We're back. So, uh, what are we reviewing today, Trot? We're uh, reviewing the factory spec KO controller. Yeah, and why am I reviewing it and you're not? Um, I might have uh, broken my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I will be, we will be doing a later video about me breaking my foot, but I broke my foot on the motocross track. Um, and that's really all there needs to say about that. Let's get on to the factory <laughs> spec controller. Okay, so uh, why would you choose this one, Truett, over the pro spec, which we currently run? What, what's, the, what's the main advantages? Uh, you get a little bit more juice. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, probably the main benefit is just more capacitance, but higher quality components throughout the controller. So if you get like, you'll basically get cleaner electronics everywhere, which means cleaner feeds out to the motor, better back EMF kind of response. Um, yeah, so that's kind of why you'd want this. So we're gonna fit this and uh, see whether we actually rate it. But uh, first we'll run you through all the specs and everything. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Cool. Okay, so now the cripple's out of the way, we can talk about this controller. So currently right now it only comes in black. Um, it's made in fairly small numbers because it is, it is priced here. So it's priced at uh, $12.99 USD compared to the $9.95 USD for the uh, Pro controller. Um, the main benefit is the fact it's 45 kilowatt rated versus 35 kilowatt rated with the Pro controller. Um, but realistically, the, the, there is a lot more extra engineering in this. It does have more capacitance. Higher quality components makes it a much better controller. Um, and the better capacitors make it a better controller. So you, you think to yourself like, why do capacitors matter in a motor controller? Basically, they're gonna control all the feedback, all the little pulses and everything that goes to your motor. motor. So basically your motor will be smoother all round. And I, I feel like the Pro Controller is super smooth. So feeling how smooth this will be when we add this is, uh, it should be noticeable. Um, and we're gonna review that and we'll, we'll put that out in, uh, later on in the video. But Basically, uh, this thing's a really good contender. Um, yeah, so 450 amp um, and 830 phase amps is what's spec'd. And uh, yeah, we'll get it on the bike now. We're online, ready to fire away. A oh, digital that? breeze from cybernet seas. Oh, we may not make it out of the bay. Just unwind, it doesn't matter anyway. So uh, quickly before we fit this, this up, um, you can actually change these little wanky looking things um, so they match your bike. And because my bike is blue, I'm going to be extra wanky and fit blue ones in like so. Um, and I think just because I'm less wanky than I thought I was, I'm probably just going to fit one single blue one. So it looks like this. It's like it's got an earring. You know, you get an earring on one side? That's what I just did then. Tell me that doesn't look good. Uh, looks good, Jared. <laughs> it does, man, I actually like that. <laughs> yeah. Not into it? <laughs> sure, it looks great. <laughs> Do you want us to change them all? <laughs> I reckon you should change them all. Okay. <laughs> you can buy these little caps from KO. I haven't actually seen them released, but uh, I know you can get them from there. So just reach out to uh, info at KO and I'm sure they'll sort you out. Um, but yeah, these, these actually come off the, uh, the little um, hole sensor or encoder cap um, on the motor. So yeah. So, not that anyone cares, but I did change these all blue. I didn't like it, so I'm just gonna run with one blue. So, don't pick on me. <laughs> I look so dumb. Doesn't it? Sick. <laughs> Draw it. <laughs> oh, there's, not, there's not many times I ever pull rank, but I'm pulling rank. I'm pulling rank. <laughs> I used to say we were like at um when we were, when we were like apprentices. Yeah. So like there was like a shit job and like whoever was the highest apprentice, like if you're a third year or whatever, you're like yeah. and sometimes it'd be like 
look, I'm not going to pull rank today. I'll do that job for you, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> it's like so tough. So I'm uh, just going to change that control over now, but the first thing you should always do is uh, turn your breaker off or at least disconnect the, uh, disconnect the controller. Turn your key on, make sure the current control is discharged, you've discharged all the capacitors. And uh, yeah, definitely disconnect your battery, which we're just gonna do that now. Because safety doesn't take a whole lot. You aren't doing some face wires, Jared. Yeah, man. I'm undoing a blue one. Watch. Did it. That's good, Jared. Thanks, man. Been screwing things and unscrewing things for a while. Unscrewing? How does that work? Don't know. I've got two kids and you don't. You're probably better at it than me. Additional breeze from cybernet seas. You may not make it out of the bay. Factory spec controllers on. My initial thoughts of it compared to the Pro Controller was that I didn't think it actually looked as good, but on the bike, I think it, it looks awesome. So uh, we're just gonna load the latest hex file on it and put in our settings that we normally run and uh, yeah. Yo man, what's going on here? I thought you were meant to be running the factory controller. I was man, but Unfortunately, um, it popped on me on the initial tune in the initial test. So we thought we'd at least do a quick update to say that contacted KO, explained actually what happened, have a new unit coming down. I'm uh, apparently one of, um, one of four that's actually failed. So that's a pretty low failure rate considering how many controllers these guys have made. So yeah, so basically what I did is I blew a MOSFET, which is not KO's fault. Um, basically the MOSFET they would have had would have been faulty from the factory and just would have got missed in a QC process from the MOSFET provider. Um, yeah, so essentially what happened, I just basically did a wheel stand, I hit the brake to kind of keep myself on the balance point, the front come down, and then this, the bike just started beeping and I had no power. Um, I actually had to push the bike down the hill, so what happens is basically all the motor connections lock up and you're basically fighting that electrical resistance because you're creating it by pushing the bike. So to push it down the hill, get it in, I thought maybe I'd blow on a motor. Um, as soon as I took the controller off, I could free spin the, the rear wheel easier. Um, yeah, and I'm back on the Pro controller for now. But um, impressions, I'm never going back to this controller once you try the, uh, the F-Spec or the factory spec controller. Every throttle, every, every bit of that throttle feels so much crisper. It just has more poke. It just basically is more punchier. So that's that big advantage from those capacitors. So I would highly recommend the F-Spec. Yes, we had a faulty one, but I mean, it is a like a semi-mass produced part, so it does happen. Um, yeah, so we'll, uh, I'll be running the F-Spec from now on once I get the replacement unit from KO. Thanks for watching. Screen.